Tonight was a special night for Vermont's capital city. It was Halloween, of course, but it was also a time to get the community together for a celebration that they didn't know would be possible this year. NBC 5's Tyler Bronski takes us there. Well, even in the chilly weather, still a good turnout here in downtown Montpelier as people showed up not just for the trick-or-treating, but also for all the other Halloween festivities on tap. It was an open invite to the state's largest Halloween party where the dress attire was anything you wanted to be. This is totally multiple years of, uh, of accumulation. <laughs> as friends of all sizes were showing off their creative costumes, while trick-or-treating throughout the streets of Vermont State Capitol was the main attraction, there was more than just candy bowls at every corner such as a costume parade, karaoke, and a thriller flash mob, something little kids were excited about. I'm a double angel zombie and I need to go uh, do my dance. You guys, are you part of the dance? Yeah. Oh my gosh, well, I feel like I should let you go do your dance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that was, okay. And Ben's got places to be. <laughs> Volunteers have been practicing the choreography together for the last couple of months. I just thought it would be a fun thing to try. Um, I didn't really have many expectations going in, and I just had the best time, so I keep coming back. While for many people, Halloween is often a holiday of receiving, there was also a chance to flip the script and give back. The Montpelier Food Pantry was set up accepting donations. Through the food pantry, I have really gotten to see what this community is about and um, how amazing everyone is to each other, how supportive the people are here, um, how willing people are to volunteer, donate, and how much we can affect people's lives in the area. After all the city has gone through because of July's historic floods, folks were grateful that they were able to keep the Halloween traditions going this year, celebrating on the streets of downtown Montpelier once again. To be in Montpelier again after everything they've been through, it's just wonderful to celebrate. <laughs> if interested in participating in next year's Thriller Flash Mob, we have where you can sign up on our website, mymc5.com. In Montpelier, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.